the quality of a man, a real traditional man, is a go-getter. Someone who doesn't fear anything. Mm -hmm. But the modern woman wants the modern man, a caged man, a man with some feelings. It's like a dead lion. Eh? <laughs> but you are here arguing that uh, it's a man who has fallen. Why? I'll, I'll, I'll say, and if you do your own research mm -hmm. out here, no one, no woman wants a yes man. A yes man is a man who will be okay with everything. Mm -hmm. A man who can stand up and say no to this just because I'm a woman because that's a modern if you want a caged man that's a man who says yes to everything that you want no woman is there who wants a yes man all through ladies and gentlemen karibuni sana kwa jenga kenya tv hapa tena with my returning guest maria karibu sana maria today. yes thank you so much Ya, yeah, nafrai sana kila wakati inapokuwa na wea hapa. Thank you. Wauliza hawa wacha waulize, sio? Haya. <laughs> 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 wana, wana usema na wasema. But it's important, <laughs> it's important that we have to get here yeah. because uh, whatever we are talking about is very, very important and necessary to get our family moving. Okay. As we said, Jenga Kenya TV is built on the foundation of a family. And that is why we never get tired of talking about and sharing about the family. Today, the topic of the day, what do you want us to talk about? Maria. Uh, why are men running from their responsibility? Why is a man today neglecting his rules? Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have not subscribed to the channel of Jenga Kenya TV and you are new here. We are looking forward to having 10,000 subscribers at the end of this year, closing year 2023, and we can't be able to do it on our own. Therefore, we really need your support here. Subscribe, also share to five of your friends and uh, even your followers and help us attain or achieve our target of getting to 10,000 subscribers. Well, if you don't just watch, watch and subscribe and help us grow. Also, whenever you leave us a comment, we know that we are doing something and we are impacting our life, be it negative or positive. Also, if you've got something that you think, you feel we can be able to share here on Jenga Kenya TV, uh, because this is a family TV. Help us make it a number one family YouTube TV, please. To the topic of the day, why are men abdicating their responsibilities and running away from their God-given roles? Why do you think? A lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. Upbringing. Uh -huh. uh, the upbringing, mm -hmm. uh, one, mm, is, is the upbringing mm -hmm. is contributing to a lot of these issues. Uh -huh. uh, as we say, or as I put it, mm -hmm. uh, a man of today is uh, is becoming more weaker. More weaker. More weaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, they neglecting uh, neglecting a lot of obligation mm -hmm. to the female uh, partner uh -huh. or um, a female uh, parent. I can. Why that. do you th Why do you think they are becoming weak, Mary? Um, or what is the difference between the modern man and that traditional man, old man? The traditional man, I'll say sometimes, not even sometimes, culture used to shape things. Mm -hmm. Culture used to shape a man mm -hmm. to be a man. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, we, we, we are a lot of tribes in Kenya. Yes. And I'm very humbled to... Uh, be a true Kenyan yes. associated with a lot of uh, uh, many of uh, tribes and living together. Uh -huh. So there's this uh, Luo culture mm -hmm. uh, where there is uh, uh, where a man after uh, growing up mm -hmm. he builds this thing called Simba. Simba, I think it's across almost all the the Kenyan tribes. The Kenyan tribes. In Gikuyu, there's also Simba, right? There is, but oh, no, 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 no
young, yes. strong uh -huh. lawyers and mm -hmm. lawyers are, mm -hmm. they have. Mm -hmm. And I feel that this is this was a way of uh, bringing up a man, a responsible man, mm -hmm. that before you build your home, before you go out and make your own, you home, must make uh, you something must for, for your own, right? Make something for uh -huh. your own. You mm -hmm. you learning the struggle of building. Mm -hmm. A home yes. or a house, mm -hmm. uh, as I don't know whether it's a home or a house, <laughs> but yeah, uh -huh. either mm -hmm. you're learning mm -hmm. uh, those roles at that age uh -huh. because uh, that symbol was built when someone got to these adolescents. Now, comparing to those age when people are building symbols, yeah, uh, um, and, and, and today, and today, whereby uh, if I'll go kidogo to Kikuyu culture, mm -hmm. whereby there was a way after, mostly when they finished uh, maybe primary level mm -hmm. at that age, yes. I think it's at the age of, uh, is it 14? 14, 15 years. 14, 15 mm -hmm. years, they went for circumcision. Mm -hmm. When they went for circumcision, there were certain, like now the Simba, mm -hmm. where these these men go, they are mentored by elder men yes. on how to live as men, mm -hmm. on how to behave as men, mm -hmm. and on how to take charge and role. But today? Compared uh, to uh, now, yes. I'm not criticizing, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to bring up the difference between then and now. Okay. Right now you tend to find that when boys are going to get circumcised, mm -hmm. when that time comes, mm -hmm. like we are heading to December, where a lot of yes, this is uh, done, ceremonies, yes. the ceremonies are yes. done, uh. the, the boy child is taken to a church. Where now, uh, no, where there are no those cultural and traditional there's values, not, right? There's no traditional and cultural cultural mm -hmm. values, yeah. but there are religious values. Yes, there. Others are taken to hospitals mm -hmm. where they are nursed until they are mm -hmm. they are they are able to uh, they are healed. They have, yes, and then there are some now that are, they just dying at home mm -hmm. without now guidance from from the elders the, eh? the elders uh -huh. so you find that these people they don't have that mentorship they don't have that uh, uh, cultural way of bringing a man mm -hmm. it it tends to to, to not be there okay so um, in other words you were saying that um or if I may ask, where do you think the society has failed? Or is it, uh, is it the blame that you are putting on to that man who should have stood up and given an, an uh, example and um, sense of direction to these young men? Or the cultural aspect of uh, the modernization that has come into play that is quickly eroding away, uh, taking away the manhood from men? I think both, because... Uh that man who understands uh, the importance mm -hmm. of uh, bringing a strong man in, in a society. Yes. Remember, a man doesn't have all the luxury to, yes. to, to be weak. Yeah. Every, in every way, in, even, even the surroundings are, not, are yeah. not favoring a man to be weak. No, 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 no. no. Nothing mm. favors. And but, you can see uh -huh. this even when we go to animal world. Yes. The animal kingdom. The yeah? animal kingdom. Yes. There is no a lion. Yes. It has to stand strong. Always. Always. Yes. There is no in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. The same applies the to same a man. The same applies yeah? to a man. Yes. There is no way and there is no environment that enables a man to be. But uh, Mary, someone will argue out that a uh, modern woman doesn't want. Uh, traditional man. They want modern men, those men with feelings and emotions, things which are just molded in the modern man. That is what is making you happy. But now you are here uh, saying that it's the, uh, the problem of a man not standing up as a man. Today when a man decides to become a man because that attributes of a real traditional man is through that aggression, right? Yeah. An aggressive man 
That True. is the the quality of a man, a real traditional man, is a go-getter, someone who doesn't fear anything. Mm -hmm. But the modern woman wants the modern man, a caged man, a man with some feelings. It's like a dead lion, eh? <laughs> but you are here arguing that uh, it's a man who has fallen. Why? I'll, I'll, I'll say, and if you do your own research mm -hmm. out here, no one, no woman wants a yes man. A yes man is a man who will be okay with everything. Mm -hmm. A man who can stand up and say no to this just because I'm a woman, because that's a modern, if you want a caged man, that's a man who says yes to everything that you want. No woman is there who wants a yes man all through. So, um, yeah, you are right, because um, always women want to date up, right? Uh, you want always to date some, a man who is uh, of a higher uh, rank than yourself, who is stronger than yourself who is brighter than yourself, who can challenge you even more, isn't it? Yeah. That is the kind of who a makes, man that... Who makes you a better person? Yes. And if, going back to what you say, mm -hmm. uh, Kitambo Kidogo, those years back, mm. there was this kind of, uh, I don't know how to call it, we, will we call it a taboo? Mm -hmm. Where you, you, as a man, you don't date a woman who is near in terms no, of, not of, age, of not age, age yeah. not age, um, not um, capability in yeah. terms of um, financial capability. You will always want to be higher. Yeah, so yeah? I, that was one way traditionally and I think culturally that was one right thing. Mm -hmm. That because women tend to grow fast. faster, yes. So you get a woman who is younger than you, or you're almost the same age, is a bit wiser and more advanced it's, it's compared a, to yeah. a man of their age. So that age gap yes. brought a lot of one respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, two, uh, a woman will be, uh, how do I call it? Was was able to be under this man uh, submissive, right? Submissive. Yes, yeah, that was yes. the word that I was, mm. uh, was trying to find. Mm. Was being submissive, and this man could now mentor this woman mm -hmm. in the way that he really wants in, hands to be. Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, modernization um, that is now in play yeah. has contributed a lot a, a, a lot towards. Uh, making men appear more feminine, right? Exactly. And um, also the laws of the land. We can also blame it to the laws of the land because uh, every now and then you'll hear women being empowered, right? And what happens when a, man, a woman is empowered? Something comes up in her mind. Just as we started off by saying that uh, a woman always wants to date up, a woman always wants a man who can be able to challenge her, right? Yeah. And now you have a woman who is higher in your financial state as compared to yourself. I think Naturally, it yeah. comes to a woman that whenever she is above you, she'll always need somebody who is higher than herself, such that she can be able to submit naturally. You know, uh, the way you put it, the law of the land, I would want to argue Kidogo there because now, the, this, this whole thing, again, brings us to gender equality. The gender equality, right? And uh, whatever or whenever, wh when we are talking about gender equality, yes, are we talking about a man versus a woman? Uh -huh. Or are we talking about a husband versus a wife? Um. Because now, if we put that it's... A wife versus a husband, mm -hmm. now that brings a whole new problem. But, okay. but if it's a man versus a woman, now that is a different issue. How different? A man is still a husband, right? No, yeah. you know, at work, uh -huh. we are men and women. Okay, yeah, yes, at work, yes. At work, we are men and women. But it comes natural with women. Let's talk, because I know truth is brutal, yeah, right? Truth, yeah. 
And then I'll also argue out that uh, that food which is more nutritious is never tastes sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So whenever we talk the truth, this is, uh, is always bitter for chewing yeah. and even very painful to our marrows, mm -hmm. but it helps out. Uh, we have this um, aspect of equality. When equality, if you have got the history of equality, when it all started, it all started as a, as a joke whereby a woman wanted to get out and so help out in the name of helping out to support mm -hmm. the husband who is struggling. But once she got out and realized that she's at the same standard with the same man, now she started uh, saying that, no, I'm capable of taking care of myself. So w w w what is the essence of equality if this, the same thing is coming to break the family, which we are fighting to bind together? To bind together. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll want us to go back to, mm -hmm. to our today's topic. Yes, which and, is... And ask you a question, Shadra. Mm. Yes. Uh, not protecting men and not mm -hmm. making excuses. Why are them. men running away from home? We are just still there. Why are you guys running from your responsibilities? Mm -hmm. Why are you running away from being heads of homes? Mm -hmm. Why? I have an answer. I have an answer, and you may decide to argue me out. Yeah. I've been in a, I've been out here, and uh, I'm a family man. Mm -hmm. I have a husband. I have a wife. Mm -hmm. Have kids. Uh, we have the law of the land. Uh, we just talked about. Yeah, yeah. And today we have so many quarrels in the homes because of this thing that we have just mentioned about equality. Women are the people who fought for equality, and they have fought for it for a very long time. It's not men. Not at any point has a man ever fought to be equal to, to a woman, never in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have never seen any man trying to equate himself to, to. to a woman. Mm -hmm. But the point of equality all surrounds about women running to us being equal to the, to the men. And now as you started off by saying that men have to be men, and we had to give some attributes to the man, that aggressive nature of a, of a man, which is very, very important. Yeah. Very, very important. But now... The, the authority uh, that comes with it. The authority that comes, even when, yes. when a kid plays, and a man will be like, you stop the authority that comes. It stops, but when the, ma but the what happens when the mother says stop it? They continue. It's like they are joking, right? Yeah. So that aspect of authority, yeah. whenever we bring this aspect of equality, such that I have to behave the same way you behave, I have to do what you got to do. I have to relate to the children the way you as a mother have to relate to the children. Then the aspect of a man diminishes. And whenever we come to this point, and then I think to myself that when I try to argue out with my spouse concerning this, the state will automatically come in, and who is the loser in this perspective? The loser is always the man. You will be told to walk out of the house because you are becoming toxic to the family. Probably because the woman wants you to share in the same feelings she is feeling. When you, whenever you become aggressive, she becomes discouraged. So it forces a man in this picture to do what? To walk out. And in I, that I, area, yeah. now you start interpreting it and saying that my man was weak and walked away from the, the, from the family. The thing is, uh, as we go back to the days, a man used to show authority in so many ways. Yes. One, they chose violence. The old time men. Yes, and it's, it still applies. For you to yes. submit mm. as a woman, yes. and you're not listening, mm. the only way I need to make you submissive is hitting. That uh -huh. was back then. In those years, in right? In those years. Uh -huh. Yeah. And today? At that time, there was, again, a lot of resources, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And if this woman is not submitting enough, first of all, I'll bring another woman. Mm 
uh-huh. in this home state. Mm-hmm. So she'll be submissive. Uh-huh. If this one doesn't, submit, so there are many options, there right? There are many options yes. as to how a man has to make sure that a woman, a woman submits. submits. But today, now we are in a modern world. Yes. In a in a, an arrangement that is different from the old times. Mm-hmm. We don't have a lot of resources shared. Yes. You can't marry four wives because of our economy. Yes. You don't have a lot of shambas to give to these women yeah. and their kids. And there's no way out you can make her now submit to your Sub- authority. And you can't hit them because you that would be gender yes, based violence. violence. Yes. But when that because it's face, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a face from generation to generation, yes. from generation to generation. Mm-hmm. When that failed, at that time where a man noticed now this is this this is fading. I can't hit a man, a woman, sorry, mm-hmm. I can't marry many wives. Which transformation mm-hmm. was there? That this person will still make a woman submissive without hitting and without uh, marrying a lot of women, but still make this woman submissive. Let me tell you, Mary, because I'm a man, uh, I don't think there's any man who wishes to have many women. In as much as uh, the doctrine goes out there, says that uh, men are uh, uh, what kind of... uh, uh, not promiscuous by nature, yeah. uh, but uh, they are uh, polygamous by Poly- nature. Yeah, polygamous. polygamous by nature, right? But uh, truth be told, that uh, when a man finds a honorable woman, a true value. when a man finds a vicious woman, when a man finds a submissive woman, that man will always vow. To remain with that woman for life. Exactly. Even the but today the good one. Yes. The Bible says, "Whoever finds a wife finds a good thing." A good but is it the same case today? It, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not the case today. It's not the case today because I think we've all failed, whereby the mentorship of a woman too yeah. has failed because as women are growing, they are finding more independent mothers, mm-hmm. and they emulate Yes. without being guided through. through. Yes. So whatever is, is brought up, whatever mentorship comes in, uh, this young woman tends to pick up roles and understand that I can't be my own woman mm-hmm. without being uh, bothered by a man. Bothered uh, by a man. Uh, yes. And without having a head, someone who will tell me what to do. Uh, yeah. Because one, mm-hmm. um, I have freedom and I'm financially fit. Yes. So if a man is only here for financial benefit, mm-hmm. I'm already well. Yes. So I don't need a man. I feel that women too are failing when it comes to mentorship. The mm. same way men are failing when to it stand comes up. to, yeah, to St- stand standing up. up. Yes. Yeah. So that this woman understands, no matter how wealthy you are, no it, matter how how financially stable financially you are, financially stable you it are, it has nothing to do with the family. It exactly. You know, and that is where uh, women go wrong because today we talk about independent women, right? Yeah. I can finance myself. I can pay my bills. I can take my own children to school. To school. I can do everything that I need on my own without having to read a man. But do you think this woman in himself is doing justice to the children? No, it's I where we That boy, we, that we, boy, we, why we, men are running away? He has been raised by a single mother. Mm -hmm. Do you think this man that has been raised by a single mother, because his mother was wealthy enough, she was capable of providing for the school fees for all the uh, requirements that the son required in life. Do you ever think such a man can ever grow up to become a man in life? That's the question. To man up in life. Can it ever happen? (laughs) 
unless there is a, a lot of mentorship from a male. Yes. But if there's no mentorship from a male figure, mm -hmm. then it's a lost cause. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying a lost cause in a wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm saying there are things that a man is able to, to stand with authority. And do it. And do. But at that point, there are certain things that this man is unable to take authority and stamp. Mm -hmm. I can say stamp the authority, stamping in the authority. So we are coming now to that uh, part whereby you just asked, why are men running away from their responsibilities? Men of today, the modern man, has been raised by a single, a single mother, which constitutes almost 40% of the household today. Now, this same man who has been raised by the mother knows that all the responsibilities belong to a woman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All the provisions has to come from the mother. Mm -hmm. So whenever I find you and I marry Mary, you expect I, me I expect Mary to provide throughout. Yeah. But then probably Mary has been raised up well by two parents. Two parents, yeah. And she understands that it's the responsibility of a man to stand up and protect and, and, provide, and for provide for the family. For the family yeah. Do you think such a family can stand? It, it can stand. never. It will stand. It but can again, never. again, Shidi, remember there are those who are brought up by two parents, but there's negligence. Yeah, there's also that part of it. There's negligence uh -huh. from that man. Mm -hmm. And that's where I, as I was taking you through, in a man that initially culture had uh, shaped. Mm -hmm. Yes, that traditional man. That uh, traditional man mm -hmm. that the culture had shaped. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand uh, there's a lot of argument with culture mm -hmm. and what culture mm -hmm. says a man should be because you'll find that certain cultures say a man shouldn't get to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's a woman's uh, place and space. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of cultures that right now with the modern world, uh, they, they are not, they don't suit. Mm -hmm. yes. So the culture... They don't intermarry? They don't intermarry. Yes. Because uh, you, you find we are busy, maybe we live in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm late and you have just to mm -hmm. get in the kitchen mm -hmm. and cook for mm -hmm. for these uh, for mm -hmm. your kids because yes. they are our kids they mm -hmm. are our responsibility mm -hmm. as a team that's a duty as, as parents a right yeah. that's a yeah. duty as yeah. a parent so as much mm -hmm. I feel like we need the elderly men mm -hmm. in our society mm -hmm. to to come up to stand up. To stand up. Right. For this younger generation mm -hmm. and mentor them. At least they have now, they are open minded. Mm -hmm. They are open minded. Mm -hmm. They know both culture mm -hmm. and they've, they've been in this modernized uh, setup. Yes, and they know yeah. the problem that comes with this yeah. and the benefit that comes so with that. So they can find a bearing, mm -hmm. a balance. Mm -hmm. And mentor our men and mentor our boys because it's becoming chaotic. Mm -hmm. We are losing so many men. We are losing young, energetic men mm -hmm. because of this weakness. That is coming with the modern man, right? That is coming with the modern man. Yes. Remember, there are certain men. Mm -hmm. that can stand up for themselves yes i'll say you can't you can't there's this place in western where they go for initiation at yeah very early in the morning yes yes i come from that place yes 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 you can't take that man because that man is mm. bred yeah in in a certain way uh, with some cultural values with, that yeah. a woman can never take away. Yeah, from. and authority. Yeah. Yes. You can't uh, compare that man with a man example. This is an mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. from Nakuru 
or Nairobi who's mm. brought up with the Kababa version. Yes. And uh, Pampak. So in uh, in uh, short, you talking about um, we are sharing about why the modern man is fast fading away, why the modern man is not standing up, is not manning up enough to match the roles and responsibilities and, that and, are required uh, of a man, and right? Adding adding to that, Shidi, it's even the law of the land without yes. any question mm -hmm. for a man to stamp authority from the wild mm -hmm. where we see the lioness do you know the, the work that a lioness does it runs hands and antelope or maybe a, 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 yeah a, a, and it brings a buffalo and catches yeah it it struggles yes but do you know what the lion does it's only to strip and tear, right? And, and it's, it's, it's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> and then after it's... It's, it's biblical. It uh, it's also biblical, yeah. uh, which, whereby the Bible talks about that vicious woman who wakes up early in the, early morning, in the morning. And then the man is praised in the gates because of the commitments that a woman, a woman does. Yeah. But today's modern woman, when she achieves what she's got to achieve, because modern women are materialistic kind of yeah, women, they don't want to submit to the men, right? So can we stand and blame the modern man for the weaknesses that we are experiencing today? Or is it the cultural aspect, the transition now from that uh, uh, traditional way of life now to modernization? Or is it the government? which is also playing a very big role in empowering women and making them stand up and feel as if they are independent. It is transition in mentorship. It is transition in mentorship. Remember, when the law comes into play, mm -hmm. there are individuals, there are activists that push these agendas. But these yes. agendas are pushed with the reason. Mm -hmm. And these agendas are pushed because of certain issues. Mostly of which are political. Some are political. Mostly yes. political. But yeah. whenever these issues come in, you get that we are both waiters in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. you are, sorry, you are a waiter and I am a waitress. Yes. But it will be unfair because Shedi is a man to be paid a little higher. Mm -hmm. And I be paid less mm -hmm. just because she is a man. I'm a man and you are a woman, right? A woman. So okay. there are certain places mm -hmm. that when the law comes in, it just sets a standard mm -hmm. of fairness. Mm -hmm. So do you think as pertains to the roles of a man? Because we, here we are discussing and talking, why are men running away from their responsibilities? Yeah, yeah. Why are men running away from homes, right? Yeah. And now, one, the yes. sense of responsibility. They don't have sense of responsibility. Explain. One, we don't have more any any more hardworking men as they were. Mm -hmm. That a man who is going to work and bring uh, food. To the, at, to the family, at, to the family. Mm -hmm. and let a woman take care of the, of the kids of the kids uh -huh. and take care of the finances mm -hmm. you know as as we say long time it was hunting and gathering but yes. what was happening when a man went to hunt and gather he brought home the catch right the catch. Uh -huh. who managed the catch it's always the woman the woman uh -huh. now this is where the problem comes in with the modern man they want to hunt mm -hmm. And they want to manage the, the cash, right? And they want to manage. Remember men are the worst financial... Um, <laughs> so we are managers. coming... So, so uh, uh, if you bring the sense of responsibility, go work, go bring, let the woman manage. Manage. Okay. That will be a better thing. How much is enough for a woman to manage so that she can be able to sit at home and take care of my children? That's the question. If a woman could manage an antelope, 
if a woman could manage a rabbit. Yeah. So how much is enough <laughs> that I should go hand and bring to the woman so that she can be able to comfortably be at home and take care of the family and not go comparing herself to other like, achieved women? It's not a matter of comparison. It's a matter of the catch you brought home. Welcome back. Yeah, we were talking about... Uh, why men are running away from their homes very hated for those of you who have not subscribed you are new here please do us a favor kindly subs kindly, kindly subscribe, subscribe mm -hmm. to our channel and let's grow together help us meet that target of 10k come the end of this year and we will really appreciate for your contribution also make us our number one family youtube tv channel and we will very, very much uh, appreciate. So uh, as we wind up, men running away from their homes, uh, Mary, what do you think women are doing wrong that is contributing to men running away from their homes? As, uh, mm. I'll say as it's the law of the nature, as the word says, the Bible, submission. 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 Mm -hmm. A submissive woman will bring these, uh, our community, our society, they will change mm -hmm. what has been wrong because there is no way you take charge, you will take authority and expect a man to to stay. Women are saying that uh, men are running away from us because we are strong and they are weak, they can't match our energy. That's why they are shying away. What kind of men do these strong women want in their lives? Remember our strengths are different. And the way we measure strength is not by, how do we say it? Material things? Not material uh -huh. things. Not masculinity, uh -huh. because if it's masculinity, it's obvious that men are... You give it to the men. We give it to the uh -huh. men. Uh, this is a way, there's a way we can collaborate with all the strength that we have, uh -huh. with the wisdom that we're given, uh -huh. both men... And women. And women. Yes. And make this society a better place, and make our homes stand, and mentor our kids right mm. yeah. um, men uh, we are being asked today that we have to man up uh, regardless of the situation at hand mm. uh, we just have to stay put and make sure that uh, our voices counts in our family because our sons need us yes. our daughters need to love to know their first love as their fathers that's what they say right mm. And men need to learn how to become men straight from their own, their own fathers. It's quite impossible for a man to become a man being raised by a mother because those attributes of manhood uh, are not in a woman, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's only possible for a man to be able to man up enough uh, being raised by a man and learning from the man. The same applies to the daughter. It's only possible for a woman to become a meaningful wife or a meaningful woman into the society by learning from the mother, from the mother herself. Yeah. Because children mostly learn from what they see in their parents. In their parents yeah. So let men be men, remain to be men, continue fighting. And let also women accept that aggressiveness part of a man. It's not bad. It isn't. It's I'll not agree. bad. <laughs> I'll agree. It isn't bad. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we need to be open-minded society mm -hmm. without borrowing too much from the Western uh, traditions and cultures. Traditions and cultures. Yes. We have our own culture. We have our own traditions. We can't borrow 
and you don't know how to work it out. Mm -hmm. You can't start something that you can't finish. Yes. And that is where we are. We are starting something that we don't know how to finish. We borrowing things that we don't know how. It will end. It will end. Yes. For them, it works well. These are developed countries. These are places where they work, uh, I'll say, 24 hours. But you, do you think um, Mata's parenting is working well with the West? The Mata parenting it's is not, not working it's well not. with the West. You oh. find a lot of drug abuse. Men are not in the homes either. Exactly. Yes. You go to the West, men are not at home. So we don't, we, let, us, let us stop seeing these telenovela things mm -hmm. and hoping Alejandro's are real. Mm. We don't have Alejandro's. <laughs> the, the Hollywood fantasies. Eh? Yeah, we don't. Let us stop living in Zootopia. Yeah. We don't have Alejandro's. So we, what you we, are we, simply saying is that let women be submissive. Let us be submissive. Yes. And let men step up, uh, take their role, uh, authoritative role in homes. Mm -hmm. Again, not here we're not to, we are not here to blame any side. Mm -hmm. We are here to find solutions to yeah. us, what is ailing our society. Mm -hmm. Let men provide. Because there is a lot of issues with men providing. Let men provide, let women submit, and let us take our roles uh, in the way we are created. A woman as a woman and a man as a man. A woman as a woman and a man as a man. That is how we end it there, dear <laughs> viewers. Yeah. Again, just to remind you, hit also the notification bell so that whenever we upload our new videos, you will always be the first to be notified. And also share if you find this uh, uh, video uh, helpful to you. Let also other person get to benefit from it. Until next time, bye-bye. Uh,